What is going on everybody? Tech enthusiast here and this is a quick video for SEMU on Android. So we have two new updates. Firstly, it fixes the dark contrast on games and secondly, there is D-pad support. So what I'll do now is show you a comparison video and also how to preserve your save files. Okay, so firstly we have Zelda Wind Waker HD and here you can see the heavy contrast. So just going to do a little bit of gameplay here and initially it was just quite difficult to make out you know which way to go but it was somewhat doable and now this is with the new update and straight away you notice that it is a lot visible and here again it is basically how it's supposed to be and once again I'll just do another short gameplay now here is a side-by-side -side comparison of Zelda Breath of the Wild and you can see a stark difference between the two. Now initially when I played this game on the early SEMU build, it was so dark that you can barely see anything, especially that Sheikah device on the left. And now with the latest update, it is just so much playable. And now on the latest update as well, you can use the D-pad to bring up your weapons menu, as you can see here. Okay, so if you want to try this update, it's not exactly straightforward. Well, at least for me, it didn't work. So basically, if you want to install the update, I'm going to go to the downloads folder and then install the APK. And here I did get an error message. So what that means is basically we have to uninstall the existing one. But before we do that, let's, you know, save our save files. So we're going to go to the root of the storage, then in the Android data folder then scroll down to the SEMU folder and here it is you can see with the icon now if we go into this folder really you could probably save the controller profiles MOC01 and shader cache but for this video I'm just going to save the save folder MLC01 so I'm going to copy that and for the sake of this video I'm just going to put it in a random folder like music okay now that that is done we're going to go to the install the SEMU app and we're going to uninstall that. And then we're going to go back to our downloads folder and install this update. Once it finishes, you can open it directly or from the home screen. It doesn't really matter. So we need to open SEMU so it creates the necessary folders. All right, so we're just going to go back to our file browser, then into the SEMU folder. And here it's already got the MLC01 folder. I tried to paste it directly into this directory, but I got a few error messages. So that's why I have deleted the folder. And then from my music folder or wherever you saved your save files, you're going to copy it and then paste it back into this folder and then we can go back and launch SEMU and then you can just play SEMU with your save files intact it's great that we got the d-pad support however the L2 and R2 buttons are not working and that will have an effect on some games where you need to use those for example Zelda Breath of the Wild and also when it comes to Mario Kart 8 if you finish the first race you can't go to the second one as it is stuck on that loading screen and lastly if you have a stage mod it doesn't work right now as you can see here this is supposed to be a custom stage but hopefully this gets fixed in the future anyway that does it for this video thanks for watching and i will catch up with you in the next video